Top of the morning to you, or afternoon, or evening, whenever you may be watching. My name is Scott, I represent the SNL Game Slam here with Sergio. The boys are back. The boys are back. Truthfully, I did not know if this show was going to continue. We had many trials, many tribulations on the technical difficulties side of things. You think Sabrina would have ended the lock, and it turned out that my computer that I've had since my freshman year of college almost did the trick for her. But things are up and running. We are going to use this space as the studio moving forward. I love my game room, but it's that it doesn't really have the right logistics for a video studio in its current state. So, without me gargling the whole time here, we are going to start out with a team recap because I know I need one, I know you need one. It has been a couple of months. So let's start out here with Kevin, the level 37 Pidgeot. Uh, Pidget, I believe, is the fancy terminology, followed by Austin, the level 41 Charizard. Next up, we have one of our newer members of the team, Liv the Lapras, who is looking like a great move set right there. And I did watch the uh, previous episode, which will be brand new for you guys, but for me it was a couple months ago. Uh, so I am now refreshed that we are considering giving her Psychic. So I'm keeping that in mind. Next up, we have Cornus Boy, the Nido Queen. After him, we have my colleague, level 37 Jolteon, Dan, comma, CPA. And last, we have Joe Benny, the level 36 Snore Black. So it looks like we picked up a Grimer last time. And I was talking about how you can fall down uh, the space here. But I kind of want to continue since we're up here. And I don't remember if you need to uh, go down there. And it looks like, unless there's a hidden item here. Let's see, any hidden items maybe here? I do not see any hidden items. That is a pointless room. Uh, we're going to continue on in... You know what, since we did hit a dead end, I think it might be worth dropping down just to see what happens. I mean, it's nostalgic for me. It's been a, a million years since I've fallen down uh, a floor like this. And where did we end up? Have we been to this room before? Yep, that was where the South America Diary was. So not really anything crazy happening there. Um, I'm going to continue where we were. Okay, we have been there. I'm going to find, I'm going to try to find the staircase that we've taken. And I think it is going to be super repel time because we got our encounter. So I'm going to run from this Vulpix. And let's fire up uh, one of our four super repels. Okay, these are switch powered. These are switch powered, so last time we went that way. Ooh, this must be a beefy level. Okay, I see a muck level 39. We're not gonna super repel that away, uh, but we are going to escape. Let's see what's in this diary. July 10. We christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Ooh, okay. Okay, a little Mewtwo strikes back flashback for me. Let's go up these stairs. I don't think we've been here, so let's take a look at this diary. February 6, Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. Okay, man, I'm about to queue up that movie. Is there a hidden item here? Yes, there is. Still got it. Still got it. Uh, very unfort though, because we can't really use a Max Revive in the Nuzlocke, but we can use a Max Potion. So I would say this room is a net positive for us. So let's, we want to get in there. Um, where's the nearest switch? Maybe down here? Nope, we are striking out there. So let's go down here and to the right. 
that is a dead end as well. So I'm going to go down the stairs of the two we have here. Oh, the switch is right there. Okay, we're at the entrance now. We're going to press this switch after using my next repel of the super variety. I'm going to press this secret switch and go through here. We're going to try these stairs. I was probably here last time. Yep, so I took the southernmost route. I don't think I took this way though last time. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. We probably got an item, but the rest was a dead end. So let's press the switch here. And we're basically back where we started. Okay, so we had the stairway there, and it didn't lead to anything, right? Okay, we have basically gone everywhere I think would make sense except for down this part of the mansion. Okay, okay, I think we're where we need to be as we see a trainer and an item, and he says, who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Wow, well, well. It is ring security season, and this man has not installed one. He wants to fight. Sending out a level 29 electrode. We can handle level 29s all day, but that's not a good matchup for Kevin. We're going to send in, we'll call him KB. A little abbreviation for Cornus Boy. Light screen, not going to matter. Not going to matter. We're not using special attacks. We're going to go right to the Earthquake. And I see he's already used six. So uh, apparently a couple months ago when I was playing this, he was getting some usage. He was getting some usage. Uh, one hit knockout. That's what we like to see. A little shared experience. And with a wheezing coming out, we will keep him in because Levitate was not a thing in 1996. Pretty sure this game is 96. Down goes the wheezing, pop goes the wheezing. And that's a nice experience, gonna level him right up to 37. And down goes the scientist who says, ouch. Just quick to the point. Let's see, we'll, we'll keep Kevin in the front. I don't, I don't think there's a ton of electric Pokemon here. As we pick up the Carbos, so getting a lot of vitamins based on what I saw in the last episode. We have a stairway there. We probably should take it. I always want to take like the alternative route. <laughs> Just a habit. Alright, let's go to the left here and down. I saw an item. I saw an item. Super Repel, we're running low on these. And let's see this diary. September 1st. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Oh boy, I feel like I'm watching the movie. TM14. Let's see what that contains. Let's see what that contains. So 29 was Psychic. Booted up a TM it contains Blizzard. Oh boy. A little climate change. And Liv can learn it. Cornus Boy Joe Benny. If anyone's getting it, it's going to be Liv. And I'm glad we held off on Psychic. I mean, we might teach her both, but like this is a Lance killing move. Uh, Lance defeating, we like to be PG here. Lance defeating move. And my goodness, is this a trainer? It is not. Uh, what does he say? Okay, it's a blind trainer. So give him a little, little tap on the shoulders, uh, got his attention. But we do see a Growlithe, a decent level. So this will be some nice experience for Kevin. And we're gonna go right to fly. We're gonna go right to fly. We dodge in, we dodge in, and uh, fly almost taking him out. So Leer, not a big deal. We're gonna quick attack and send this pooch a packin'. Next up is a Ponyta. We will leave him in for that and take the same strat, a little fly action, dodging a tail whip this time, and doing some fat damage. Stomp probably going to do a decent amount uh, after the leer, but quick attack should do the trick here. And now goes Ponyta. 
pretty good experience for a little pony, for a My Little Pony. And they, they must have just laid off the, the text uh, staff because we just got Awu and Ouch as our last two text strings. This must be a big one because we still have the repels up. It is a wheezing. Don't show Cornus, boy. Don't blow up on me, please. Okay, that would really not be good. There would be people uh, gunning for my job if that happened. We got an item out here. Full restore. Admittedly, I was hoping it was the key to the gym because I'm pretty sure that's what we're looking for. Anything in the corner up there? No. We're going to continue to the right. This must be a big one, too. Don't be a wheezing. I can live with locks because, to my knowledge, they cannot self-destruct. To my knowledge. Don't test me on that, though. Please do not test me. Continuing this way. Have we gone up these stairs? That's where we came from. Okay, we have not gone up here, though. There's a scientist. Let's battle him. Let's battle him. This place is ideal for a lab. I would agree. I would agree. Uh, but apparently people used to live here, according to the last episode. Magnemite. So we will be pulling a switcheroo into Cornus Boy. Easy decision. We're not about the risks anymore. I'm sure there will be risks we are forced to take. But I'm trying to get rid of the dumb risks, like, that cost Brian his life, frankly. So, now that we have our assistant coach back for the second consecutive episode, I think, we are going to try to be smart about this. Sonic Boom, better than self-destruct, definitely better than Explosion. Um, although this is the member of the team who eats up the explosion is pretty well. So that was his last earthquake. Let's keep that in mind. That we're probably not going to want to switch to him unless it's literally to eat up a hit. So over here is open. This might be it. Rare candy. Okay, I really thought... Why do I think something's here? Okay, nothing's there. Trying to be the hidden item master again. Did not work. Was that our last super repel? We have one left. Might as well use it. And we'll use the switch now to continue left. And this should be possibly the last room. Magmar! Man, that's pretty sweet. You know, it would have been the veteran move for me to throw the super repel up when our encounter was open, and then we would be able to get a cooler Pokemon like Weezing or Magmar. TM22, uh, a la Tayshawn Prince, contains Solar Beam. Dang, who can learn that? Liv can learn anything, man. And Joe Benny, which doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but I will not fight it. Okay, this should be it. No more, <laughs> no more room for items. Um, we'll just use something on someone, like the Carbos, I don't even know what it does. We'll give it to Austin. His speed rose, okay, he didn't really need that, but... Secret key, we found the secret key, and let's escape rope the heck out of here. Okay, so the Pokemon Mansion has been completed, and it takes us to Saffron because that's the last place we healed at. That's kind of funny. I will stock up uh, between episodes on items, but in the meantime, we'll keep moving through and heal at Cinnabar. I love that city music too. So let's heal the team right up, and then I will deposit some items, um, just because I don't think there's usually things you can pick up in gyms, but uh, I am rusty as a screwdriver, and I don't want to miss anything like when we defeat Blaine, I'm saying when, we're gonna do it. Um, I don't want to have to go back to get the TM because we're full on stuff. So, calcium will deposit, we'll, we'll get that iron in there as well. 
Um, let's see. Iron. The max revive I'll sell between episodes, so I'll leave that in for now. Um, even some of the TMs could probably go. Rare candy can go. Um, but we'll leave them in there for now, just in case we get to a situation where it really seems like it would make sense to get Solar Beam, Blizzard, or Psychic. And those are some good moves. These aren't your grandmother's TMs. These are not grandmommy's TMs. We're in the key worked. And we are at our next gym pretty soon after the last gym. I don't think we've been to a gym since the last time we were at a gym. Isn't that crazy? So this is going to be a live gym for sure. Um, so let's put her right in the front. And I think we can quiz our way through a lot of these. But what I like to do is battle like a decent amount of these people. Well, let's let's get it wrong on purpose uh, just to see what level these trainers are at. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right. Here we go. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree, so we know the answer is no, it's Metapod, but we're going to say yes to get it wrong. Oh, <laughs> okay, can I just like talk to him in battle? Okay, sweet. <laughs> I actually tried getting that wrong, and I didn't know they were talking about the same evolution chain, so. Burglar wants to fight. Burglar wants to fight. Level 36, so... I think these are going to be worth battling. I think this is decent experience we can use. Um, so with that in mind, we are going to just crank that soldier boy and get that experience. Um, probably won't be live the whole time, but you best believe this is a good gym for her. Um, but we're going to be banking on her for Blaine. I think Austin will be useful as well because he has the fire immunity. He has that same type defense bonus. But I think between... Honestly, our whole team is pretty well versed for fire type. Um, I mean, Cornusploy with Earthquake is pretty solid. Dan can paralyze people, probably take a hit. Uh, Joe Benny, probably not the best idea to have him in. Something tells me his his special isn't very high, um, so we don't want to risk anything there. Um, Kevin, this is not really an ideal matchup for him, so probably going to be rolling with the three-headed monster of Liv, Austin, and uh, Cornus Boy. I really had a stroke there. All right, we're gonna keep battling people. We're gonna keep battling people because that is how we do it. And I wonder if you just battle everyone, if those doors automatically open up, or if you have to answer the question. You gotta teach these kids somehow. These Vulpixes unfortunately don't give a ton of experience, but there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, 400 something. I mean, if that gets us the level, that gets us the level. Um, we'll keep mowing them down. But, you know, while we have a little time here, might as well bring up uh, everybody's favorite segment, Topics with Scotty. I think I've renamed it a million times. But, at this point, now that we are a couple months after I last uploaded even though you're gonna see an episode before this i'd film that in september um i want to know how people are liking pokemon sword and shield this may shock you to your very core but i have not gotten the game yet um just a little tight with finances and i mean i'm always kind of tight with time but i just decided with being this close to christmas it probably made more sense just to wait uh, until Christmas to get the game. So I have not played any, and I have also held myself back from watching any Twitch streams, uh, YouTube series of the game. Not that I'm actively uh, avoiding any uh, footage of the game, like I'm avoiding Star Wars Episode Nine trailers. <laughs> Literally shut my eyes at the theater the other day. 
but um, I just don't want to know the story. Um, I don't even want to know what the evolutions of the starters look like until I find out for myself. I, I just want as much of a surprise as possible going into my playthrough of the game. Uh, but with that being said, if you have any spoiler-free comments of what you're enjoying about the game, whether it's the graphics, the story, um, the new Pokemon generation, uh, playing on the Switch, uh, having that TV full console experience, whatever it may be, please let me know. I'm excited. Kevin wants sword version. I want sword version. Usually we get different versions, but we both want sword in this case. Um, and I'm pretty excited for that game. And also, another one I really want for Christmas is uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. That one's been out since like July, I think, maybe June. Um, and I've heard very good things. There, one of my buddies at work is a big Fire Emblem guy, about as much into Fire Emblem as I am. And okay, yep, so the door disappears. And he has said, you know what, I don't want to risk too many biscuits. We have a ton of lemonade. Let's just give her one. Excuse me. He has said that Fire Emblem Three Houses is his second or third favorite of all time. He really likes the original and uh, Sacred Stones. Um, and he, he likes Path of Radiance, but not as much as I do. And he liked Awakening, but not as much as I did. So I think he put Three Houses third uh, after both the GBA games. Whereas I currently have them ranked Fire Emblem Original, uh, Path of Radiance number two, Awakening number three, uh, and then Sacred Stones number four. Still think it's an excellent game, just the other ones had a little bit more of a different variety than those. And speaking of Lance Defeaters, uh, we're definitely learning Ice Beam. The question is what do we forget? Probably Sing. Probably sing that was a pretty mainstream Ed Sheeran song back in 2014. So we're just gonna forget about it. We're gonna forget about that one. That guy's been on the radio way too much. So Burglar says we were too hot to handle, giving us a lot of money. And let's continue. We're kind of on a roll here. Um, I am going to put. Let's put Austin in the front. We'll put Austin in the front. And battle this man. I know why Blaine became a trainer. This actually sounds like a pretty interesting story. Um, I don't think I know why Blaine became a trainer, but I do know from the show that he pretended to have hair, and then he didn't, and it was kind of weird. Let's swords dance. That's, that's the move all day. And see what this rapid ash wants to do. Oh, it's gonna trap us in a fire spin. Ugh. Well, you know what? At least we boost it a bit. Uh, so that when we do break out, and this is only doing six damage on a crit, um, we know that we will probably crit because it's slash. And with the swords dance looking like a two hit KO. There we go, down goes Rapid Dash. Austin getting some experience and we defeated the Super Nerd. And he doesn't tell us why Blaine became a trainer. Oh, here we go. Blaine was lost in the mountains when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. Its light enabled Blaine to find his way down. Whoa. Do you think they're talking about Ho-Oh or Moltres? Or Talonflame. <laughs> uh, anyways. We're going to end it on that one. Uh, probably just like one or two more trainers before Blaine. So uh, probably going to be buckling up for that one next time. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, and for your patience, uh, I really just had some technical difficulties that I couldn't get the last video to work. But I appreciate the support nonetheless. Um, probably three or four people reached out just asking like if the show is going to continue. And... I had to be honest and say maybe, uh, but I'm glad we're back. So we will get out of your guys' hair until next time. Game Slam, signing off.